A very good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to our channel, Mother Mary Sue Protection. Let us now listen to the word of God. This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for February 15, 2024, Thursday after Ash Wednesday. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 15 to 20. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Your response, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Your response, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Your response, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Verse before the gospel. Repent, says the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 9 verses 22 to 25. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Jesus is predicting his suffering, rejection, and death in this chapter from the gospel. But he is also hinting at his imminent resurrection. He demonstrates to his followers 
that selflessness and sacrifice are necessary for following him. To those who are prepared to give their life to follow him, Jesus does, however, also promise eternal life. Jesus invites every one of us, my dear friends, to follow him and pick up our crosses every day. In other words, just like Jesus did, we should be ready to face adversity and suffering along the way. We are not with, without hope, though if we pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Instead, we are guaranteed to live forever in paradise with him. We are prompted to reflect on what is really important in life by this today's gospel reading. A genuine purpose and significance in life may be lost if we limit our attention to material goods and activities. All things, however, including eternal joy and the fullness of life are ours if we are prepared to give our lives to Jesus and follow him. In light of the fact that we are following in Jesus' footsteps, let us be motivated by today's gospel reading to rise to the challenges and obstacles that life presents. We pray that we will be like him in knowing and serving our Lord and Savior, denying ourselves, picking up our cross every day and following him in the hope of eternal life. Prayer. Lord Jesus, only the royal way of your cross leads to paradise. Help me to hold yours. I can get pushed to the ground by its weight at times. I can set aside my worries, my irritation, and my grievances. Though because I know that with your assistance, I will be able to follow you joyfully in the hope that countless lives will be saved. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.